I just woke up face. How do I look? This is Carla's just woke up face. Sorry. You guys didn't know, Fenty doesn't like going down the stairs. We have to carry her. Oh, time to go. Carla doesn't know what I ordered, but she's in for a challenge today. Can you guess what I did? I don't know. Hmm. You ordered a lot of food? Is that what you're saying? Well, you'll like it, but I don't know if you can survive it. What do you mean? You'll see. Oh my gosh. My legs. <laughs> the thing does your brother do on his videos? He's like. What? I don't know. I don't do that. I want to see you do it. <laughs> Just try it one time. Why do you want me to do it? Just try it one time. <laughs> Got that from her little brother. As a matter of fact, she gets all her slang from her little brother. She'd be stealing it. So I think period came from her. Well, it came from everybody says that, but I think the way she says it came from her brother. So shout out Lewis because that's where she got it from. Like. Ew. I got the goods. How many nuggets do you think you can eat? We will find out. But just know I spent $68 on these nuggets. You got your money. He got money. Get it all for him. So, you get fries too or no? I got fries too. Are you actually hungry? Mm -hmm. I'm hungry too, so I might end up just killing all this shit. How many is in there in each one? So it's 12 per one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's actually 13, so like 12 times eight. It's like we're missing like four nuggets, but technically, if there's an extra, it'll be a hundred. So we'll see. These are McDonald's nuggets. These are like actually really good, so. I ordered like 80 nuggets from McDonald's and shit, and we ate them all. But that was like five people, so. Yeah. Oh god. This is honestly my dream. Oh. Jeez. These look pretty good. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. Where do you rank like nuggets from each place? Is this like the top? Yeah, this is like the top chicken nugget, and it's like real chicken. So I think I'm actually enjoying this. We're probably not gonna eat the whole thing, but we're gonna try. I don't know what day of vlogmas this is. Like at this point, we're not. We're just not keeping count, right? Technically, it's 11. How do you know all the time? In the comments, a lot of people said we should try to eat 100 chicken nuggets, and I was like, hmm, I could get them from Burger King because they're like 10 10 for a dollar. I was like, no, nah, that's probably nasty. Who else has them? Does Wendy's have nuggets like a nugget deal? Mm, not that I know of. I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I like all my sauces open, so I have options. Oh, uh, what I have in front of me. I have a Chick-fil-A sauce, a buffalo sauce, a honey mustard, and I have ranch as well. I didn't open all the way. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat them right now. I'm hungry. Damn, these are a lot of nuggets. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So today, guys, we're going to talk about how we both started our, I don't know if you want to call it careers or like, how we got started because I know everyone just thinks like you just I don't know where just become like Instagram famous or YouTube famous or whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my backstory and Kayla's gonna talk about his backstory on how we both got started and yeah for me I come from a single mom so that in itself was um, not the best like thing but my mom always did her best to have us like what we needed and everything else so when i first started working when i was actually i was actually 14 i actually lied about my age started working at a pizza shop and my mom also was gonna work there but i ended up getting the job i got a job as a waitress then i ended up like working there forever like i started working when i was 14 I was, I was still in middle school and then started high school. All throughout high school, I was working there and I also had a second job. I used to clean houses. That was a lot of work when I was younger because I always wanted to help out my mom with her rent and like her bills ever since I was young. So in the summertime, I used to work my butt off because I was like, I'm saving because I need money, deliver pizzas, be a waitress. I was a waitress during the day. I was a pizza deliverer. Once I started working, I started delivering pizzas at night. And then in the very, very morning, like from six to eight, six, eight, nine, I used to clean houses. So that's what, that was like my schedule. Like morning, six to eight, clean house. From nine through five or six, I used to be a waitress. And then from there, I was a pizza delivery girl. 
so yeah that was basically how i started i started like making money and i went to school after i graduated i wasn't sure if i wanted to go to college and my mom really wanted me to go to college in my mind i was like i was already set that i wanted to come to la and i was like i want to move to la save money and i moved to la by myself i didn't have any family out here anything um that would like really like look out for me it was kind of just on my own and i made it work i did what i have to do and then now i have my family here and yeah that's what happened i think a lot of people think um when they see you like you're bougie or something i know the real one i know the real the real but for me, like growing up, um, my schedule was super busy playing like basketball. Like I played AAU and like, I was one of them kids that was like ball is life, like ball is life every day, like ball is life. So every single day after school, I would have practice like Monday through Saturday. Like only day we had off was Sunday. So I did that all the way until I was like a sophomore in high school. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of playing fucking basketball. My every day was just all about basketball. Like I couldn't really enjoy like real life experiences and like do things with my friends that didn't play basketball. So when I was a sophomore, got really into gaming and like watching YouTube videos and I, I used to really want to be like a YouTube gamer like I wanted to make YouTube videos about gaming right so that's kind of where my like start for like making videos came from was that never had like a documented job where I clocked in and like punched in or whatever but like my stepdad owns it or he worked at a barbershop and I used to be like the kid in the barbershop like I cleaned up everybody's hair like I like put away like all the different hair stuff cause it was like a part salon, part barbershop. So every day after school, like between that and practice and like after practice, I'll go back like to make money. He would pay me just to keep the shop looking nice. And that was like my job all throughout my whole childhood. So my dream job at that time was like, I always wanted to work at Foot Locker. Like, Foot Locker champs, finish line. Like I always wanted to work at one of those places, but they never hired me. I think you had to be, at that time you had to be like 18 and at where I lived, like you had to be 18 to work in the mall or something at like a shoe store. I don't know, it might be different now, but that was always my dream and I, it never got fulfilled. But as far as college goes, I didn't really know what I wanted to do and wanted to be. It was more like, I'm going to whatever school, like basketball could help me pay for college at. <laughs> so I went for a year and that's like when I really started making vines and shit because like, my mom used to really be on me about making videos in her house. Like she didn't want me making certain types of things in her house. Like I was being hella wild, like cussing and shit. Older girls be complaining. I'm supposed to have a house and a good job. Bitch, I'm 18. I'll give you this dick, a good ass piggyback ride. That's about it. A lot of stuff I probably shouldn't have been doing, like I was putting on Vine, like that wasn't cool. <laughs> and my mom was like, what the fuck are you doing? That first year of college is when I started making Vines and shit. Obviously that's where like the special K thing came from. If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't, period. My first job was really just working at the barbershop. I was just a kid at the barbershop. Like, everybody, like every single person that went into that place, like knew me, cause I was always sleeping some fucking hair. And I'm making money. 10, like when I first started working there kinda, and he only paid me 60 bucks a week for like a couple hours a day. That's a lot of that money. That just seemed like it was so much, but like now that I know like how many hours I really worked, like it should have been a little more than that, but mm -hmm. by the time I was like, hey, this is great. I don't come from like a, a super rich family or anything like that. I have my mom and my stepdad. I have my, my biological dad and my stepmom. They don't live here, they live in China. So um, just my whole childhood, like, I wouldn't say like it was super duper hard because I think my mom had a good way of like, she never really like let me see her like struggle. Like she was, she's the type that like was struggling behind a closed door and like, as a kid, I never really felt like she was in any type of like problem because she always kind of hid it from me. Now that I'm adult, and I talked to her, I know like how hard it really was. Yeah, that's kind of where I come from. I've never still to this day, like had a like real legitimate job. Cause from when I graduated high school and like, I turned 18, I just was like. A lot of people will ask you like, how do you start on social media and how to like, how do you? It's like not for me personally, like it just, it didn't happen overnight. I think I started on Tumblr. I know it's really weird, but I started on Tumblr. He obviously started on Vine. I don't know if you guys were into Tumblr. Some people were really into, were you into Tumblr? Tumblr was like an OG. I, I, I never was into that, but I know a lot of girls are into that period. Well, not anymore. That's not as popular, but I started off Tumblr and then gradually like, I would like take more pictures or like, like show my makeup, all that stuff. I think that's how I was like, I think I can make a career out of this basically. And that's when I decided to move to California <laughs> and it was a bit like a big risk because I was only, 
at the time when I decided to move out here, I think I was 18 turning 19. My mom wasn't like the most excited for me. Like she was really scared that I was gonna be out here by, on my own. And even when I got here, I don't think I was even getting recognized until until I moved here and I was actually doing a lot of more work. It was kind of a tough beginning because I kind of had to like do it from the ground up and I had to just like do it all by myself. like. Like I didn't really have help out here or my mom wanted me to go to college. Like she was super like, that's not a career type of thing. And I basically had to do everything on my own. So, and I couldn't ask her like, oh, I want to move to LA. So just like, give me a couple thousand dollars, mom. And like, let me move out there. No, like it was all on my own. I raised all my money. Like I'm glad that I am where I am now. So I'm definitely at a better place. <laughs> and uh, like it was not, it was a lot harder and like I know the struggles like some kids like come up to me and ask me like oh like how did you start out like how well I get DMs all the time like how did you do this how did it start out like I had to put in a lot more work than other people um, just by knowing them like me personally I had to put in 10 times more of the work because I didn't have the super support from everybody so I just had to really grind it out most people can't just like be like oh yeah I'm just gonna be like Instagram famous and that's gonna be it and I'm gonna be a youtuber and I'm gonna be like super pop like it doesn't happen like that like you're in high school middle school I know like a, a thought in your mind is like I want to be popping on Instagram or I want to be like famous and you, a lot of us know that we can't be like a-list celebrity famous so you want to be the next best thing which obviously is like internet celebrity type quote i don't know what to call it but like i know a lot of kids want to be that something that you gotta understand is like it's just not for everybody but if you do want to be one if you want to like be popping on instagram if you want to be an instagram baddie or if you want to be a youtube star you want to be a tiktok whatever the fuck they call it nowadays like if you want to do it like it's really not hard i think if you have a literally all you really need honestly is like a phone or like some type of device that you can capture content with and you just need to have like a consistent drive to want to do something like when i first started all i had was a phone i had an android at the first like in the very beginning so that's how you know it was like real like i had an android and all i did every day was like look at people who i really look up to like i really watched what they were doing and i tried to mimic that and like make it my own from the day i graduated high school until i went to college i had like four months so every day in my room like i literally like if you go back and you can watch all my vines there's somewhere like every single vine was in my room and like i would get like 10 likes like it was just like bullshit ass like somehow in my body i knew i was like if i just keep doing this like it's just gonna happen at some point so i think just being consistent like if you want to be kind of in more of the fashion like upscale world and like i guess you would go out and try to be model like you try to look at go get booked at age you try to just but for the first step is like go out and do what you're trying to do so like if you want to make youtube videos make a video whether it's good or bad get your phone film a video try your best to edit it it's there's a bunch of apps out there and just put it out because if you think that like oh i need my shit to be a1 or i need this to be like this it's probably not gonna be like that anyway whatever you want to do just go out and try to do it if you want to be in quotes instagram baddie go out Look up your favorite Instagram baddies and try to mimic what they're doing because that's obviously what people like to see. For me, that's all I did and like over time, like it's been a long time. Like the, the whole first part was a really hard like struggle. I was like, damn, this shit's not working. But like one day this shit just took off and it is what it is now. So just stay consistent and you'll end up being whatever you want to become. This applies to like not just this, but like anything you want to do. Stay consistent. Just like how we're not consistent on this YouTube shit, but we're consistent now. <laughs> I'm sure if we stay consistent, it'll be great. But if we don't, then obviously like, like damn, maybe maybe it was a broke time. The moral of the story is that we did not come from like super duper fancy. Fancy <coughs> or. I don't even it know was it, for, it just wasn't handed to us like a lot of people that you see it's just handed to them you know like what that i always say is like donald trump is always like i got a small loan of a million dollars like this thing you got a, a small, small loan, loan of a million dollars <laughs> so it kind of takes Me money to make age, money right i was like oh you know ugh. So we didn't have that setup where like you just kind of naturally like and our families didn't understand like we come from a generation yeah, my where my mom did not understand like at all like she was like she would yell at me she'd be like why are you taking a picture you think that's gonna get you somewhere and i used to like be like yeah, yeah mom it will like she used to not let me wear makeup like she just didn't understand like where i was trying to go and like obviously now she understands it she was just like very traditional she wanted me to like go to college she wanted me to be a nurse and like which is still good which is still great like but do what you want to do i wanted to like pursue this and i knew in my mind i was i could do it if i really put my mind into it 
So I went and rhymed. I did it. What? It rhymed. Period. Well, nobody's gonna understand your vision besides you. Honestly, nobody's gonna believe in your vision until like they can obviously see it. So. While she's grinding and taking pictures and she knows in her mind like this is gonna get me somewhere. Our parents, the way they think and the, the time we came from, there wasn't any like musically TikTok. YouTube wasn't like back then it just wasn't like that. So like nowadays I'm sure parents can see like, oh, these kids are making real money. Like people really can become famous. Back then, you didn't really see people like for to for being actually famous from that. So like it was just different. Mm -hmm. So your parents probably aren't gonna see your vision, but just do what you want to do and do like. And that applies to everything. Yeah. Not just like social media wise. It just like applies to everything, which is whether you want to be a doctor, a hairstylist, a makeup artist. Like I know sometimes it's hard to let your parents know like I want to do this and I don't actually want to do that. You know, as long as you stay focused and you do what you want to do, then that's all that matters. And just yeah. Do you? Here. Actually, me can't eat any more chicken nuggets. I've been eating all these nuggets look, by myself. This is still a lot. Left. How many did you even eat? No, I ate a lot. I'm lying. I feel like I ate a lot. She lying. Period. And then this is our fries. These are basically almost done. I ate a lot. We gonna uh, we gonna watch the film. We gonna count as many. Can y'all count how many she ate? I guarantee it's between ten and fifteen. I'm pretty sure I ate like twelve or thirteen. Thirteen out of one hundred. Thirteen. So you ate 12% no, no, no. out of 100. 13 through 20 maybe. So you went from 12 to 20? Yeah. Which one is it? I'm gonna say like 18. So you went from 12 to 18? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I had a lot. Cause this is like, it was up here. Y'all see the film, I ate all of that. No you didn't. Shout out to all the girls and boys that work at pizza shops. And our pizza delivery people. Period. Don't get caught up in thinking like a nine to five is bad because what's worse than nine to five, five is, is great. Nine to five isn't corny. Being broke is corny though. Yeah, being broke is corny. Have a nine that's, to five. That's straight facts. All right, guys. So this is the end for, of this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you got a little insight in our past lives or a little, <coughs> you got to know a little bit more about us and personally. So yeah, we're just keeping it real. Period. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on our next video.